Here we have an input-output table. You've probably seen these before in math. We take a number and input it as x. Something happens to it, and it gets output as y. In a lot of ways, an input-output table is like a vending machine. You input something, like your selection or money, you wait a few seconds, and the machine will output a product. Now what would happen if we took this input-output table and tried to input 2 a second time? The first time we put in 2, it output 1 as y. Will it output 1 as y again? Aha! It did! What we see here is an example of a function. A function is when an input always produces the same output. We input 2 earlier and got 1 as an output. And we input 2 again and got 1 as the output again. Let's go back to that vending machine example. Your friend pushes C3 and gets Skittles. If you push C3, you should also expect Skittles. If you don't get Skittles when you push C3, well then this vending machine is not a function. Right here we have an example of an input-output table that is not a function. You notice that we input 4 twice, but in each case we have a different output. Remember, to be a function, an input always produces the same exact output. If we were to input 4 again, I'm not quite sure what the output would be next time. That's a good sign that this is not a function. Now here we have a very interesting case. We have multiple inputs, all making the same output. So is this a function? Let's go back to our vending machine example and see if we can figure this out. If your friend pushes B6 and gets Skittles, and you push B7 and get Skittles, is it okay that the machine sells Skittles using two different buttons? Yeah, it's okay. What wouldn't be okay is if you push B6 or B7 again and got something besides Skittles. That would make this not a function. So yes, this is a function. It's fine that we repeat Y's. When we repeat X's, that's usually when we get into trouble. Any X that repeats better match up to the same exact Y every time, or it's not a function. Now it's time for you to try. Take a look at all these input-output tables, and decide which ones are functions and which ones aren't. The first table is not a function. Look at the last two rows. 4 is paired with 2, but then 4 is paired with 8. 4 can't be paired with more than one output, so that one's not a function. The second table is also not a function. We put the same input in to this table over and over again, but we got a different output every time. Negative 4 was paired with 1. It better always be paired with 1, and if it's not, it's not a function. The third table is a function. I see that 2 is paired with 9, and later 2 is paired with 9 again. Looks good to me. 6 was paired with 3, and then 6 was paired with 3 again. Also looks good to me. There's no evidence here that this is not a function. And finally, the last table. The last table is also a function. The only number we use twice as an input is 5, and it's paired with 6 both times. It's okay that both 5 and negative 5 are paired with 6, and both 3 and negative 3 are paired with 4. Repeat Y's are fine. So before I leave you, let's recap. What is a function? Well, a function is when an input always produces the same output in an input-output table. Thank you for watching. Created using Powtoon.